It's hell on earth, kid. I've seen cities sunken below seas of radioactive sand. The ashes of the dead choke in the air. There are places in this world where the fires of war still burn, as if the bombs fell yesterday. Most everything kind about what's above ground is a mirage, shimmering out of the corner of your eye, tempting you to make a wrong move. I've seen the eyes of Satan glimmer in the dark, with bullet holes next to my head when I wake up in the morning, and I've felt the ghosts of ages past whisper on my shoulder before blowing away in the dust. The only hope is that someday you'll hear on the airwaves the song of an army coming to save the day. The song of America starting to wake up from her nightmare. Father Time breathing life back into her dream. You've picked yourself a bright future. But what if one day that future was threatened? Would you be willing to stand up next to me and fight for your country? You have your orders, Lieutenant. Carry them out. Of course. You soldiers hear that? The word came down from on high. America shall rise again tonight. There's my star player. I knew you'd survive that shitstorm downstairs. There, that's a good soldier. Now put on that uniform so you look presentable. The next time I talk to you, it'll be as a member of the Enclave. All right. Just let me do the talking here, soldier. Follow my lead and we may all get out of here alive. Christianson! Don't brag. You're alive! Nine years I've spent preparing the next generation of soldiers to serve my country. I've broken a dozen vault tech facilities. I've crushed insurrections. I've battled the enemies of our nation from sea to sea. Never once have I failed. Never once have I taken a wrong step. And now, in this hole, the only mistake I've ever made is not firing when I had the chance. When freedom and democracy are in enemy hands, all that's left is to fight for righteousness and apple pie. We're gonna get this country back in check. We'll wipe it clean and clear of aberrants, then get old glory waving above this nation again. Quit talking bullshit, maggot. I was created to subvert the aberrant element that invests this nation. You were talking to that Anaya Rand bitch, were you? She thinks she knows what I am, where I came from, but she has no idea what I've become. I'm a crusader against the weird. It's my one purpose in life, just like her daddy meant me to be. You don't know what the hell they put me through. You don't know what it's like to wake up one day and not be the same person you were. They tortured me for ten years. They carried out experiments on my body and mind until I, I couldn't even remember what I was anymore. Then one morning I woke up, looking back at myself. I didn't have a choice in becoming this. Ideals and the mission were all I had left. They offered me a way out. I took it. I forgot everything that came before. Out of the fire, my soul was born anew. No more questions, no more fear. If I was ever anything else, this is all that I am now. It's all I'll ever be. War. War never changes. It makes a strong man weak and a poor man rich. The difference is decided by character. And if you don't think character is the only factor in deciding victory, then you've been playing the wrong game this whole damn time. The world was playing the wrong game 200 years ago. Los Angeles, Dallas, Phoenix, Washington, D.C. They learned what it meant to be found faulty in character. For their failure, they became a wasteland of nuclear hellfire. Now, out there is a horde of men calling themselves survivalists. Remnants of the old world, thinking they can get by just on the strength of their arms alone. There's a new California Republic gambling away the glory of America's past on a legion of slaves trying to rise against their masters on some old forgotten highway. None of them have any idea what kind of character it takes to bring the greatest nation on earth back to glory. But down here, in Vault 18, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about winning that war, 
right here, right now, on this battlefield. You are the last of America's finest men and women. You're the A-list. The rest of those idiots are a thing of the past. Now is your time. You will get out there and show that you have the character it takes to bring America back to glory. Can I get a rock? Damn right. Now move out.